Hi everyone, it's Diane Evans with StampinWithDiane.com. I'm an independent Canadian Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the interior of British Columbia. So if this is one of your first times joining me either on Facebook or on uh, YouTube, welcome. I'm so glad that you have found me. Make sure that you do subscribe, hit the bell down below on the YouTube, and you'll get notified immediately as soon as I do go live. I do go live about four times a week. And uh, today is Wednesday, and it's our, my mystery um, stamping. Um, I changed up. Um, during COVID, I did start doing a mystery challenge, but I changed up my mystery challenges. I have basically now gone with, um, I give three clues, and I find that that has opened up way more um, people to being able to um, create their own cards using certain clues and it's your interpretation of a clue so it's really good when you can um, start interpreting different types of um, things and and what I'm trying to do is to enable you to stamp so with this mystery challenge today the clues are um, a pet the clue is also texture and it's also twine. So I thought, well, you know what? I love that adorable Christmas Scotty um, one. So actually, let me just pop on down this way here. I love the Scotty one. I, I think it's so dang cute. I think it can be used for any type of a card. But I thought that what I do is I'm going to do a card with this. And I'm going to do it as a Christmas card. Um, I've kind of done this style card before. And what kind of triggered me to remember that is it was a stamping demonstration by um one of my team members on in our uh, on our uh team meeting that we had this month so it, it'll be a refresher for some people it's also um just a way to create more texture on a card or more visual texture on a card. So we're going to go ahead we're going to make like I say a Christmas card with this and we're going to use a few other different um types of things um, on this particular card. So I have my stuff here and I'll show you. I've used a few um, new other products um, from the JGD mini catalog. So um, bear with me on here because I, I think you're going to like this. Okay, so this is a five and a half by eight and a half piece of cardstock. It's scored at four and a quarter and I'm just gonna go in and use my bone folder and get a really nice crisp score. Then what I'm going to do is I am going to take this and I am going to line this up at one and a quarter inches. And I'm gonna take my cutting blade and I'm lining this up with the four and a quarter, which it happens to also be the center um, score line. I'm gonna push down. And what I've done is I've created a card there. And you know what? I didn't get that straight. I'm going to have to go in and I want to get that. I don't know why I didn't get that. Didn't double check that. So I'm actually going to go in and I'm just going to bring my bone folder back in. And I want to get that so that that's even along the bottom. Hello. Oh, nice. And Betty, your stamp set went out in the mail on Tuesday, yesterday, I guess it was. Okay, so then, oh, and I cut this one wrong too. Well, that's okay. Then I have a piece of, this is um, Smoky Slate, and it happens to be four by four. And I also need another piece of Smoky Slate that's one by four. And I'm going to go in on this piece here, and I'm going to come back in with my scoring blade and I am going to measure this half of this is two and an eighth I, I I always say that you have to be a mathematician in order to be a card maker right because there's so many different half measurements of this and half measurements of that and then I'm just going to come and actually I could take this let's just put this down here so I don't have to contend with it so two and an eighth and I'm just going to score right there. So this is going to work like an easel card as well. All right. So then, like I say, I have the smoky slate here. 
and I have this smoky steak. Now, what I want to do is I want to run this through and how I'm going to get the texture is I have the brick and mortar embossing folder. So what I want to do is I want it to look like a fireplace, right? So I'm just going to come in. Now, there's two ways I can do this. I can just do this straight with um, this and it'll it'll emboss really, really nice. But there's another way that you can actually add more um, texture to your embossing folder. There's two ways that you can do it. You can do it with a brayer or you could rub it with this. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna go in just with my brayer. Um, we unfortunately don't sell brayers anymore, but you can get it at an art store. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to brayer just like this. And this is going to give me the added texture. And I see that I'm going to have some mortar and stuff on my brick. But we're okay with that too. So I'm just going to line this up here. Oops. And we're going to line up this other piece right along here. Well, Betty, I hope you don't have the stamp set, but if you do, you can give the stamp set to somebody. Pay it forward, right? And then we're just going to run this through our big cut and emboss machine. So I'll just bring that in. And of course, all we want, because this is a 3D embossing folder, we want level one emboss, uh, level one plate. And then we're also going to come in with our number four plate. There we go. I've done most of the other, but see how that just adds a bit of texture to it. Now, I could have gotten a, been a little bit care, more careful with it and had it where it would have looked maybe a little bit better if it didn't have all that in there. But to me, this kind of looks like, <laughs> how do I put this? A sooty fireplace. Somebody that didn't open the flute, right? <laughs> Tell me how I know that happens, right? All right, so how we're going to do this is, that's still not straight. I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna come in here. You guys just didn't see this, but I'm gonna do this. Having issues with it not being straight. There we go. Just took a smidgen off. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna come in with this and I'm going to glue down here. I just want this to be right onto this part here. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this brick here. And you don't have to be that. Thinking like this will be good. There we go, hello. So um, Betty, just look for a teal envelope in the mail and that'll be for me or as they call it um what do they call it at the post office they call it tiffany blue i think yours is the, that one all right so now we also want to put our piece in here so this one happens i cut it too big so i want to cut this four inches by four and four inches by four inches yeah, it's going to be exactly four inches by four inches. So I'll just bring in my trimmer again. Oh dear. Well, make sure I've got that four inches. There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead and let's lay this one down here. Oh, thank you, Judy. Um, 
yeah, make sure that you do share this with your friends. Um, the more the merrier, right? And it also, by more people watching my videos and everything else, it encourages me to do different things. All right, so we have that. Now I'm just gonna come in like this and let's just fold this down. And this is what's going to give me my easel. Now I could have put another color behind to give it more support. And I know originally that's what I had done. And I think I've got the piece here. We're just going to leave it like this actually. So I'm going to just do this along here. Well, they can always watch it later, right? And that's why I go and I, I do all my Facebook Lives and everything at different times because of different people that watch. Um, this one's always been 3 o'clock for my mystery. And um, old habits are hard to break, right? All right. So now what we want to do is I want to go ahead and I want to stamp. Now, I could punch out the Scotties, but I thought this one's a really cute Scotty dog, and so is this one. And this one is like the punch um, sort of thing. But I thought, you know what, let's just do the stamped images. Too often I just do punches and dies. And anyways, I'm just, I'm coming in with my stamp rattles because I want it really black. Because so I'm going to use my Memento ink. And like I say, I want my... My Scotties to be good and black. So I'm coming in like this and I'm going to come in with my Chucky. If you want to know how to make a Chucky, um, there is a video. Just go under my um, my YouTube channel and just look up um, most amazing tool, a Chucky. And it's C-H-U-C-K-I-E. -C you make your own recycle stuff. It's not too bad, but you know what? I'm going to do it a little bit darker. And with the photopolymer, sometimes you have to twist it a little bit to get the even color, especially the first time round. There we go. Isn't that nice and black? Yes, I love that. Now, another thing, and I forgot to bring that. I'll just grab another piece. No, I don't need a piece. I'm doing it right onto the card. I remember that now. All right. So then on the inside of the card, because I'm going to have it come up like this, what I want to do is I, this piece here just is so interesting. So I'm going to come in with some real red. And I'm thinking that this might need to be on a paper piecing mat. Oh, did you make your Chucky? Very good. You know, and it just, it saves your wrists. It just saves, and, and it just, it helps give that even um, um, pressure to it. Yes, these dogs are so cute. And I'm not a Scotty lover. So I'm just actually going to put this right about there. There we go. And then this is then, I don't know if this is going to be big enough for this. I want it, it's really not that big enough for it, but it's going to work. So I could go, and I've already done it, is I've stamped this, may your days be furry and bright. And that's going to act as my stopper for the, um, the easel card. So I'm going to come in and we're going to double dimensionalize it. Let's see. Remember, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask the questions. Um, if you're on my YouTube, you can go in there. I answer those all the time. On my Facebook, I tend to, um, I go in there um, because I'm all over the place with my Facebook. 
I tend to probably shouldn't have put that on so soon. Anyways, this is what's going to hold my card up. Just like that. All right. So then we don't have anything for this. So we're going to have to fussy cut that out. Now, to keep you out of your misery, I've gone ahead and already cut those out. Look at this. So we're just going to have them go like this. And now what we're going to do is we're going to create kind of like um, a fireplace here. So I have these dies and these are the decorative pine dies. And these go along with the stamp set. Oh my goodness, I forget the name of the stamp set. Um, something happiest decorated with happiness it goes with this stamp set and actually this is a stamp this is um a bundle that we're using for our christmas card buffet class in october so all right so i've already gone ahead and cut some things out here and we'll see how we work now remember our our clues today are a pet so it could be a bird it could be a cat it could be dogs it could be anything it's texture so I've got my texture here now I've got one bow here that cut out and I'm wondering if that's going to be enough actually two would have been better so I'm actually going to go ahead and cut two and guess what ladies for the people that really know me can you tell what green that is I can't believe I'm using garden green but I am and I'm going to come in this and I have a funny feel. Oh, there we go. I'm going to cut another bow. Now I'm wondering, no, I'll leave it with that color green. But this green is the perfect green with this real red. So that's why I'm using it. I'm getting out of my comfort zone. Like I say, I've never really been a garden green kind of gal. Um, took me years to use old olive too, and I love it. Um, I, shaded spruce I tried on here, it didn't work. I tried evening evergreen and it didn't work either. So garden green it is. Okay, let me just get this started. So like I say, pets, texture, and twine. And to me, I was sitting there, how am I going to incorporate twine in there? Oops. Okay. And let's just pop. Use your brush on your um, take your pick tool. I should have maybe didn't get this very good. Probably should have run that through a little bit more. Um, yeah, it didn't cut very good here. If your um, plates are warped and they're bad and they're not cutting properly, it's time to replace them. There is a way that you can kind of straighten them, but they don't last for long. Um, to have it straightened but it's if I had the proper place to show it I would do a video on how to get your plates flat again so all right okay so we are just going to go ahead and ah, that's frustrating. There we go. So we're going to put this up there. We're going to put some there. Yeah, that'll work. So I'm just going to come in with my glue. <laughs> this is going to bug me. Really, Betty, you've used more garden green. Um, what sweets are you using with the garden green? Um, yeah, I even used garden green on 
on a stamp. And seriously, I have the new stamp in the garden green. And I think it was the first time I ever used it. You know, it's like crushed curry I used for the first time in a long, long, long time. I, I get stuck in ruts and I, I need to branch out more. Hence the branch, right? Oops. Let's just put that there. Now I could have done that with those adhesive sheets. Adhesive sheets are another thing that are amazing. Um, I'm just going to cut this off as well. Yeah, I think I think the garden green goes really nice with this. Just like that. Now, this little Scotty's going to go here. This little Scotty's going to go there. But I have these that I also cut out. And I thought, oh, that would go really kind of nice right about there. And I know I should have three, but I'm, I'm debating. I don't really want to put three ornaments on here. You know, I can put one up here maybe. Maybe tuck this one behind. I could put one here. No, I just, you know what? I think I'm just going to, I'm going to go for one and let's see how it works. So. Now, the other day, somebody had, had said to me, do you have black twine? I couldn't put my hands on it at that point, but it's the essential black. I want to put that a tiny bit. Wow. Here we go. Just hold that there. So the, the twine packs come like this. And they're nice because it comes in the smoky slate, the black, the very vanilla, the white, and the crumb cake. And then I thought, well, what would be good is I'm just going to take this. And this is how I'm going to incorporate my twine. And... like so and we're just gonna put that up there so we'll come in with a little glue dot one is good oh the peaceful boughs the boughs of um of holly um i really like those done in different colors okay so with my glue dot i'm just gonna squish it yeah, I think the one's going to be okay because the two Scotties, right? So I'm thinking that that's going to balance it. Let's see. We're going to pop these up. We might have to do, I'm not sure what we're going to have to do with that because it, to me, it's seeming to me like it needs something else. It's kind of drab. I love this little guy. I'm going to have him kind of come a little bit off. So when he comes up, he'll be like that. And we can put that one there. What else is in that die cut that would work really good? Into the Scotty one. Oh, we should probably put maybe some bows on there. Could even put like a proper bow. Let's see. Um, I even thought it would be good with these on here. But let's see. Where is my Scotty dogs? Oh my goodness. How can you just have them and then you don't have them? Hmm. I'm thinking a little bow would go really good about there. And these bows, this is a double bow. Um, you know what? I can do that because I'll, I'll just cut it out. So um, let's 
see. This is too big of a block, that's for sure. So there's two blocks here. One is a lighter one and then a darker one. So what I can do is I can take this and we have our white just like this we're going to stamp off so stamp off and then i can come in with this one and stamp on hmm. I kind of don't like that. I think this full bow would be good. And I'm thinking that I probably... So I can't find my dies, so I'm just going to quickly fussy cut. Yeah, definitely needs something there. Like I say, this could could have been cut out. Afterthought, right? So have you got something in mind for your um, mystery challenge? Don't forget to go onto the my group. In the group, there's a link down below. Enter into the challenge. For every entry that you put in, I, I have your name. I can draw your name. And basically, there we go. That'll go good there. And then basically, um, let's see how this one looks. Um, if you live in Canada, I give away a stamp set for the mystery and for the sketch. And if you live outside of Canada, I cannot give you um, product because that's due to Stampin' Up! regulations. But I do have tutorials that I can give. And I have a tutorial right now that has 27 beautiful um, cards in it from demonstrators all over from all over the world. So I would love for you to... What do you think? They both need to have the bows on it. Let's see. Definitely. And you know what? I'm going to put it on with a dimensional just because I can, right? Oh, the punch bow. You're right. What am I looking for dies for? It doesn't have dies. Oh, I'm so used to die cuts. You're brilliant. There we go. No wonder it doesn't have a bow. Yep. Let's do that. And they'd be good even stamped too. All right. I like this stamped one though. Just one bow over here, right? And I think I might even just do the stamped bow. The one layer stamp bow. And then of course, we need to put embellishments on there. So this is gonna go like this. That's how the card's going to look. And then, oh dear, and I won't find these readily. I know I won't. Oh, I did. So I thought I could go with the solid, um, the um, muted dots, black, subtle, muted dots. <laughs> I can't even say that name wrong. But I thought what might go really nice with this are these, they're quite small, are these red rhinestones. So I'm going to use the red rhinestones and I'm going to use five of them. Um, because they're so small. We've got the triangle going that way. Stamp and punch as well. Yeah, I think that would be 
a beaded collar. Aren't you bright? Well, you know what? We could put one here. Not so much beaded. Well, actually, that's where it should go is on this side because that's the, the he's actually looking back, right? And that would be the front of his. There we go. I like that. There we go. <laughs> oh, dear. And I'm going to bring this up closer to the camera. It kind of looks drab, but it doesn't look that bad. Now, I guess I could go in and use some Wink Stella on there, too, if I wanted to. But let's see. All right. So there's our, our card. And it it's a mystery card. It has texture. It has... It has um, a pet. And what was the other one? Twine. Now, I could have done a different type of a twine on there. Maybe I should just cut that part off a bit. I'll just cut this just a bit. There we go. There we go. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, and I can't wait to see what you're going to do for this challenge. Um, and like I say, no matter where you are in Canada, you could um, um, get drawn for the stamp set or no matter where you're in, in the world, you can also get um, pulled for the other one. Well, thank you. Thank you, Judy. Like I say, kind of a fun card, kind of gives a bit of a different sort of feel to it. Um, but anyways, there's the card. All right, so what's happening tomorrow? It's my Now What series. Um, honestly, right now, I don't know what I'm going to do. I have an idea, but, you know, through the course of the night, things change. Um, do you wake up in the middle of the night and think of things? And I do. I'm now smartened up instead of not being able to sleep. Well, I can't sleep very well anyways. Um, thank you. What I'm going to do, I, I take a piece of paper and a pen. And if I can read it the next day, because I don't do the next one. And, but those are where my ideas come from. And I write things down. Or if there's something that I have to remember to do, I do that. And oh, my goodness. And if it's really bothering me, I get up and I write it in my notebook. So anyways, I can't wait to see what you do. Um, tomorrow, 6.30 um, Pacific Daylight Time, I'll be on live doing a Now What series. As far as the card sketch goes, because of my um, Hughes of Happiness stamp camp on Saturday, I believe I'll probably be doing um, the card sketch at either 9 or 11 o'clock in the morning on Saturday, because um, on Sunday is um, our BOGO event, and that goes from 7 o'clock till 7 o'clock. We're doing um, six different... Um, six different presentations showing you different things we're going to kind of stamp together oh my goodness I don't even know if I have something that I'm stamping together or showing together but anyways I, I'm going to have to get organized for that so we will see you tomorrow night 6 30 pacific daylight time on my now what series where I pick something that you may have in your um in your stash um it's something that's current and I'll show you how to use to use it you guys have a great day and we will talk to you soon bye for now